that pillow. Nothing on this pillow. Um, is there anything good in the garbage? I can't even like click on the garbage. There is a tape over here. Let's put the tape in and listen to the music. Girl Scout, the band formerly as Cub Scout, I guess. Todd's band lost their singer. Todd said he sucked. Lonnie said he got sick of Todd's shit. A lot of music going on. Needing a new singer, so Lonnie was like, "I can sing," and they were all kind of like, "You can," and she was like, "Probably," but she's been rehearsing there with them for like a week now, and I finally got hmm. to see them play in Todd's basement today, and she's actually really amazing. I'm seeing what the first floor plan I'm so is. Proud when she's we don't on have a combination for that. Being in awe of someone you love, so everybody nope, knows. Nope, I don't think so. <laughs> situation until she ships out in June. I can't even and see. I'm gonna be at every single show. The way you do that, you'd be in every single show. What is this? I think that's Mom's Citizen stuff. Let's see here kind of hard to read this writing. It's really, really bad cursive. Huh. So she must be from Canada, I think that's what I said. Okay, there is a door over here. And I can't see where shit. Oh, what is the light? I don't like the light. Why is this house so hella creepy? Why are we going this way, Steggy? My god, this house is huge. Why is this light on? Why is everything like this? Hey, another tape. What's under here? A sock and a tape. Do we have a tape player? I do not like that sound. It's creeping me out. Read letter. So loud in my ear. I appreciate the time and effort you put into writing this letter. I sh it showed initially as well as written, but it does not change my mind in this matter. While I understand that Ms. Sotas is a friend of yours, the fact of the matter is that she defaced school property, school property with profanity. The fact that she allegedly defaced her own locker in retaliation. Wow, screaming so much in my ear. The fact for another student doing the same to yours is immaterial. As, you, as to your compliment that no other student has been punished for their part in this incident. The fact is that the no good party has come forward and there has been no convincing evidence as to who might have defaced your locker. In other words, there is no one to punish. I would suggest letting, the drop, letting this issue drop as it will only bring more unwanted attention on yourself, which I believe is the, what you claim to begin uh, this whole incident in the first place. Sometimes. No pizza left ever. Her band and our zine and her hair and everything are all anti authority. Anti authority. JROTC and she's doing drills in uh -huh. perfect formation, following orders, no question. And there's all this stuff in the news about don't ask, don't tell. Like she's going to join the army and then have to lie? Maybe. About who she is? She said. They don't need to know what they don't need to know. Like it was no big deal. This the psycho girl house girl. Is like cool stuff about being honor. a psycho house girl. Cool thing number one. Everybody in the hall thinking you don't know Lonnie they're looking at you and whispering. It. You, you walk past because I blah, blah, because I guess they haven't heard of peripheral, huh? Uh, that's a lie to mom and dad situation, but it was so worth it. The girls on stage were just so loud and real and awesome, and everybody was moving together like one huge tide of sound. Let's see here. What's this one say? Costumes, skeletons, and devils, cheerleaders from the 
Smells like Teen Spirit video, one girl dressed as Jackie Kennedy. Alrighty. Let's see here. There is still that way and that way. Alright, Steggy. We gotta be brave. We have got to be brave. Ah, oh, Jesus. This house is full of stuff. Where does that take me? To guest room. The guest room we already went into? Huh. Alright. This thing has way too many paths. Well, since that goes to the guest room, I guess we really don't need to go up it because we have already been in the guest room. What is this? Nothing? There's a light. I don't like how... Steggy protect me! Dear God. This is way too creepy. Where are we at? Where are we? Just some weird room, I guess. It doesn't really say where we are. Hmm. Oh, it was the room that was locked. So we got around in the roundabout way. Hi, Lonnie. Sorry, my mom was such a bitch last night. What a bitch. <laughs> she hardly ever... She's hardly ever around since her forest is like an hour away. And then she is home. And when she is home, she takes it out on you, like, because you're not a member of the family, and you, she knows you won't call her out on it. I'm sorry. Sorry, I needed some Dr. Pepper out. Ha ha, it's okay. I know she's just jealous of our cool and free, uh, wheeling lifestyles. I feel sorry for you. I'm lucky my mom lives in Florida. You have to have... You have to have a mom every day. Sorry, I didn't mean to bring up the mom thing like that. I know I shouldn't complain. No, I'm being serious. My mom is a psycho Christian and her new husband, Don, is a complete tool. Leave, living in Florida with him is her eternal punishment in my mind. <laughs> so, you wouldn't rather live in Florida with your mom? Oh, well that's just a lovely, lovely picture. Lovely. Let's see what this textbook is. Espanol. Espanol. Do you speak Espanol? Let's see here. Looks like just some kind of experience. They want her to assist in, um, her mother probably assisting in some kind of forest stuff. There is stuff. You know, I keep forgetting I could crouch. Froth. I can't click anything else. Alright. Let's grab a steggy. Hey, there's a light switch. We want to turn that on. What does that say? Guardian angels up above. Bless this house with lots of love. So now that's open. And we can continue on our way. What is this? There's a piece of paper. Staggy, grab the piece of paper. Why can't we grab There we go. The Earth, Wind, and Fire. Man. Bunch of 90s nostalgia up in here, man. This house is humongous. it. Oh, too many times. Click too many times. What is this? Read note. Sam, this skull was the coolest thing I found in Mexico and it was like three bucks. I love it. Uh, Merry Xmas. Miss you. Treasure it always. Um, I don't think bringing a skull inside a house is a very good idea. You may have just cursed this house. Good job for you. Mom's purse. Where's the light switch? That's all I care for. Alright, Steggy. 
Let us look what we can find. Mom's Purse pamphlet. The Seed Manual for Forestry Research and Education. Looks very boring. Up oh, there's something here. What is this note? Hi Jan, I got two tickets. Ooh, oh, <laughs> I already read who it's from for EF, uh, EWF on Thursday. Uh, but my girlfriend says she doesn't want to go. Her taste in music rears its ugly head again. So that leaves me with an extra ticket. That I thought you might be interested in more fun than clearing brush in the freezing rain, right, Rick? Rick, don't you realize that she is married? Look, you fit so perfectly in this box, Steggy. But we're going to take you back out because we need you. Is this another magic eye? If it's magic eye, I'd love it. No, it's not. Oh, Steggy, you're in the way. I can't open the folder. Ah, Steggy, go there. Okay. Slip. Oh, I <laughs> was pushing over the glass. Samantha Greenbrier. Uh, disturbing inappropriate materials on school grounds. Phone call the student's parents. Man, she's just becoming a bad egg, huh? See? I knocked over the glass. Examine note. Sam, since you refuse to hear us out that afternoon, your mother and I are putting this in writing so that we are absolutely clear. The father writes really badly. You are grounded for the rest of the month. Looks like Thai month. <laughs> from social and telephone privileges and from using your car for anything except for going to, to and from school. We understand that you are going through but we can't allow you to continue with this kind of behavior at school and clearly once your privileges in are reinstated we can't allow you to have your bedroom door locked while Lonnie is at the house this is the last word on the matter get back on the course so we don't have this happen again I had an interesting, interesting. Talk with mom and dad tonight one you are never gonna need to have I mean, you've known, right? I've known. I've known since, like, She-Ra. Mm-hmm. Mom and Dad didn't, I guess. They didn't realize that they you like girls? Me and the stuff on the locker, and they were like, is there something we should know about you and Lonnie? Yep. And so here's the thing. I was prepared for them to be mad, or disappointed, or start crying, or something. But they were just in denial. <laughs> They do not want to know. You're too young to know what you want. You and Lonnie are just good friends. Just good you friends. You just haven't met the right boy. Huh. It's a phase. That's what I didn't see coming. That they wouldn't even respect me enough to believe me. No. Well, joke's on them. Because they're in for one very long phase. Okay, we want to see what's this note. First off, congratulations, Janice Greenbrier, Regional Director. And I say congratulations because come on, you're going to take the job, right? What are you rating for? An engraved invitation? Call me back. Or call them back. But in the meantime, let's discuss this little outing you had with our favorite flannel clad hunk. What a blast. But you sound like you're reading a lot into the in innocent night out. You're sure there's something there? You said he... Uh, has an out-of-town girlfriend. You're sure that they're not serious? Okay, so we have to figure out when we'll see each other next in person. Enough with the letters. I owe you a congratulati congratulatory margarita boss lady soon, Carol. This, this, this family is just whacked. Just completely whacked. Come on, Steggy. You're my only friend. My only friend in the world. What is over here? A crumpled manuscript. Don't give up on this, honey. So it looks like that was maybe one that he was writing. Have we not been in here already? Nope, have not been over here yet. Alright, Steggy, another adventure, another adventure. You know what, Steggy? You know what? We're gonna stay right here, and we're actually gonna stop playing for right now. Um, 
So, seems like, obviously, Sam likes girls. That's obvious now. By now, you can tell she likes girls, and she and Lonnie have a thing. Looks like the mother is having a thing with the Rick, uh, Ranger Rick guy, and we keep finding all these secret passages. This house is a lot bigger than I expected. And, um, yeah, I'm, I'm hoping it doesn't, like, really spook me out just because it keeps seeing stuff about paranormal stuff. I don't like that. I don't like being in a house with nobody in it. I keep hearing creaking and, you know, lightning and thunder and sh uh, Anyway, we will see what's in the dining room next. And maybe we can also find the uh, key to the attic. Because I think that's the last place that we need to go. So, once again, thanks for watching.